Hey friends, Chris here. We are going to be working on the D2 5J bulldozer. And as you've seen on episode one, the, something was really bad with the engine. Water was just going straight from the radiator into the engine. Um, yeah, that's not good. So there was at least a quarter inch stream. So I'm going to tear off the head and see... Uh, what kind of damage, see if it's salvageable. Um, I may have found the parts dozer that has a good engine, and I think I might just go that route and just swap a new engine in here. It's the opposite way. This one has a pretty good pony motor with a bad engine. The other one I found has a bad pony with a good engine, so that might actually work out better for me. Um, I have to go talk to the guy. It's been sitting in the yard for years, and uh, it was in the barn, and then they pulled it out a couple years ago, so it's only been sitting on the elements for a couple years. So I have a feeling I should go um, try to get it off them, at least, at least offer them something and see what they say. It's not running, so it'll probably be pretty pretty easy to, uh, to go grab it, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to rip this head off. My parts book is supposed to be uh, coming tomorrow, so I can actually call Caterpillar and see what kind of parts I can actually source for this thing. Um, my concern is from following Sasquatch's channel, I pretty much watched almost every single channel he had, or video of uh, the D2 5J series, and I'm hoping the O-rings on the sleeves, the cylinder sleeves, are good in the bottom end, because that, that helps keep the water separate. So, if those are bad, I have a feeling this engine's pretty much toast, and so if that's the case, I'll probably just for sure swap engines. But I was hoping to pop the head. Maybe if the cylinder's not scored uh, too bad, then we'll see what the head looks like. Maybe I'll just throw a head gasket on there and a new water pump, and then fire it up. I was hoping to get at least a uh, uh, hundred hours of out of this machine before I had to start dumping a bunch of money into it. That's kind of how I like running equipment. I, I hate just putting a bunch of money into a piece of equipment and you're not able to even run it. Um, I can't stand that. So I, I like to run my equipment. I like to find hand-me-down equipment that still can operate, but you know, like leaky cylinders and seals and and whatnot, maybe like injection pump problems. And then, and then you slowly just work on them and you get them real reliable and get them so they're not leaking any oil. But with this case, that's not the case. This thing needs a lot of work. When I was looking at it, I was, as soon as I seen this, I was like, yeah, it's probably got a blown head gasket. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> but I checked all the fluids, all the fluids came out great. It's just the engine had a little bit of water in it, but it looked like that water settled to the bottom. So, the, so. I don't know. I filled the block full of diesel and then I poured a little bit of diesel through the exhaust because it's completely empty right now of oil. So now it's full of diesel. So uh, I'm hope, hoping to flush it out soon. And then, yeah, let's tear this head off. Um, oh, one more thing. We obviously, if you've seen in the video before, we could not get this thing up the driveway. I put a 4,000 pound log on the back of the backhoe and it wasn't having it. This thing is heavy. I mean, these D2s are really small, but I have a feeling because it has the blade canopy and the winch, it's, it's got to be pretty heavy because I did the math and the backhoe should have been around 16,000 pounds and it just did not want to pull this thing up that driveway, even with the 4,000 pound log on the back. It's not a four wheel drive, but I had all the weight on the back axles, so. I'm, I was almost guaranteed I was going to pull this thing. I thought we were going to have to uh, maybe work it a little bit, but I I might have been able to get it up with the backhoe if I if I kept yanking on the chain, but I didn't want to snap a chain and, and hurt my friend that was helping me get it up the hill or possibly hurt myself because backhoes don't have uh, a closed cab or anything, so if one of those chain snaps and come right back at you. So I... I just said, yeah, you know what, we're just going to put it down by the pond and I'll get the head off it and we'll at least see where I'm at with this machine. Okay, let's get into it.
pop this just to see where we're at. So they definitely got water and they ran it. Looks like a blue head gasket and they just kept running the machine because the way this water is up mixed with the oil. I don't know, I guess we'll see when we tear it apart. Trying to get it up top because there's not much wind up there. Down here we have traffic and a bunch of wind, so it makes videos kind of annoying. Well, it looks like the fuel pump is prime. There's fuel in there. Gonna cover up these holes so no dirt gets in there. Okay, so I got those capped off. This is looking pretty nasty. I guess I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna try to work on these injectors first. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is number one cylinder. So I'm gonna mark them one to four. Worst case, I'll, I'll have it recording. <laughs> This matters, but I'm just going to do it just in case. Man, let's go. Ah. 
I do not have the tool for that, so I'm going to have to make one or order one. So I'm going to plug these up so nothing gets in there. Someone was in here before because all these are coming off so easy. Oil line off. Okay. Well, I wanted to take just this off so I could slide the head up, but it looks like I got to take off this because they blocked this bolt back here and I don't want to, I already almost stripped it, so I'm just going to take this off. I don't want to take this off because it's going to be exposed to elements.
ですけどさ。If I had to guess, this water pump failed, that blew a head gasket. Or they just ran it for years and years with no antifreeze and the sleeves are leaking, which would really be bad. Take that monster thing off. What is this thing for? Wow, that's gonna be real hard to take off. Well, I think I'm gonna pull this back up. Oh. Looks like that sensor snapped her. I'm just going to unhook the pony motor and see what this engine looks like because I don't want to, this could, uh, all these could twist off potentially and it could take forever. So if I just take this off, pretty sure I can slide that thing up after I take the head off and uh, yeah, we'll see uh, if this engine's really super bad or not. The head should pop off now. Just gotta take the main bolts off. Thank <laughs> you. 
These cylinder walls are actually looking like they were honed. It's not bad. Nice and smooth. Wow, you wouldn't think that, huh? That looks, well, obviously, cameras. Looks like they were honed recently. Wow. I wonder if they didn't put the... Well, let's try to pop this gasket off real quick. You guys can see anything, but it's what it is. I'm out of time. Hey, friends, just giving you a quick update. I got the head off, I muscled it off. Some stuff fell on the pistons I gotta clean out. So the the sleeves look great. You can still see the honey marks. I don't know if you can see on the camera with this angle, but there's still honey marks in there. Looks pretty good. Not much carbon buildup. I'm thinking it's got a crack block. There's no water in any of these cylinders. Pistons look pretty good. Unless uh, I was pushing it through a head gasket somewhere, which I can't find. There's a lot of rust though. See those little chunkies everywhere. I'm thinking the box rusted out or cracked. Or they did a fail sleeve install and it's leaking in the rings. That's the only thing I can think of. So my strategy is to... I am going to... fill this up this water jacket this is where I believe the water pump is I'm gonna fill this full of diesel so uh, I'm not getting any more water in the engine if it has a leak so I'm gonna fill this full of diesel all the way up to here and hopefully it holds diesel the blocks probably good still if it keeps draining out the blocks cracked or the, the sleeves are leaking. Um, okay, let's get into it. Just for now, I'm gonna try to clean this up just a tad. There's just stuff came, fell off in here when I took the head off. Ended up muscling the head off and the lighting's all jacked up, so I just skipped that part. It's just... Pretty boring stuff. <laughs> Thing's gotta be at least 200 pounds though. And I'm getting some dew coming in, so we're pretty close to the coast, so... Even when it's not raining, it's a lot of humidity over here. It's protected. I should have done that before I pulled the head. I guess you live and you learn, huh? Okay, let's fill this water jacket up and see where the diesel goes. I'm hoping five gallons is enough because I'm getting low on diesel.
Okay. <sighs> Looks like it's holding so far. You can see the diesel level. Let me see if there's any coming out. Let's uh, clean the dipstick and see if it rises. It's all so clean I can. I can't even tell where it starts. <laughs> Okay, now I can tell it's right there, right that little scuff mark, right there. So let's see if that raises. If that raises, most likely the block is done, or this uh, these sleeves need to be resealed. Okay, I'm going to drain the diesel out the bottom because if this block's good, I want to order some parts tomorrow. I just didn't want to order any parts if this block's bad and waste a bunch of money on this thing. Okay, it looks like it's holding diesel. That's a good sign. Just in case uh, the water in the block is holding diesel. Looks like it's still at the same level. That's good, that's good, that's good. Looks like it's at that mark still, that's great. Okay, let's drain the food, do the final test. See if this thing is trashed or not. Okay, we are back. Round two, I have five gallons worth of stuff. Drain pans. The head's still holding diesel, so that's good. We'll see when we get it all the way empty, though. Really curious. Oh, 
bunch of junk out of there. Okay, we're going to let this drip for a while. There's just some nastiness in there. Yeah, I'm going to try to flush this out the best I can. This thing, to get these things completely flushed with all this moisture, you really got to start them up and get them warm and then dump the oil a couple times. If it's if you're just flushing out when it's cold, it's you're never gonna get all that water. But I'm hoping at least I can get all the rust chunks and most of the water out before I do run it. And then I'm gonna stock up on a bunch of oil filters. Probably run through three of them real quick. I'll do the first one. I'll let it run for just to warm it up and then flush it. And then do another oil change, put another oil filter in there, and probably, uh, I'll probably actually run the machine if it'll run, and uh, run it and get it pretty dang warm. So at least run it for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe an hour, um, and then flush the oil again, and then another oil filter, and then that third change i'll probably run that we'll, we'll see what it looks like that's what i had to do with my backhoe when i rescued it it was full of water the engine and the transmission so it was pretty bad but i ended up getting it cleaned out just just like doing a couple flushes the once the motor heats up all the moisture will just start steaming out of the engine so really got to get them going that's why it's good to start up your machines. Also the transmissions, you know, if they get moisture in there, you want to start them up and get that transmission nice and warm every once in a while. That way it'll help evaporate any moisture that's in there. Most most of the stuff that kills these machines is just sitting and getting water in them. Okay, we are going to come let this sit for a while and then come back and check it. It's got a slow drip some nasty stuff I'll let that drip all night okay friends we got this thing plumb full of diesel I'm guessing a little bit of it might evaporate so I got the pan completely drained and it's holding the diesel so I think the block is good I believe it was just a fail head gasket due to spring water they just never put any antifreeze in this and the water pump probably failed as well so we'll see if it holds all night if it does i'm going to order a head gasket and all the gaskets get this back together and a new water pump and a bunch of stuff and i'm gonna have to get that flushing tool for flushing out the radiator you hook it up to a compressor i heard it works pretty good i haven't tried it yet but okay let's uh Oh, I also had to jack the back up to level the dozer out just to make sure because I didn't have quite enough diesel 
in the front here. So now the block's pretty much level. And I'm going to let this sit overnight and check it in the morning. Hopefully it's not completely drained out. If it just goes down like a quarter inch, I think that's just going to be evaporation. But I'm going to get this covered up. I'll update you guys in a little bit. Really appreciate everybody for tuning in.